Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I will talk about Java String. Java String is the one of most important data type in Java. So as I outlined today's tutorial, what is a string? String are used for storing some text. A string variable contains a collection of characters surrounded by double quotes. I will show you real life in Eclipse in editor how to declare that. So first I will show you string declaration, then string concatenation if I have multiple string how to concatenate that and find the string length then string sometimes of program needed you need to do the string uppercase or lowercase I will show you how to do that. Also if I have a string um, uh, that I need some value from a specific index so i can figure it out that how i'll do that then also within a string there might be some special character which which can impact to your programming so how to ignore that special character i'll show you and also i'll figure it out how to extract from a string there are some value using substring so let's uh, i'll discuss about today about the string um, what a string in Java so those who are new in uh, Java programming this will be very helpful for them so in order to do that I will use Eclipse so Eclipse here already I have created a project package those who are new they want to know how to create project package they can watch my tutorial in my channel so here we have a package com.tutorial under that package we will create a java class new class then let's say make our uh, class name is string example examples so we are taking main method because in order to run any java class you need java main method so we checked that then click finish here we need to write our code about the string so that we will write our code over here then we will run one by one as I outlined the course first is the string declaration in order to declare a string data type so you need to type string 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 then you need to your variable name let's say your variable uh, like hi it is a variable equal to assign the value within the double quote as I mentioned in the definition double quote hello software testing and end it up with semicolon then if you want to print this one syso control space system out the print ln so if you just declare variable high if you use it right now you see and save it right click run as java application yeah, should be hello software testing it is printed that means you can declare variable with the string keyword then your variable name then assign the value and it is within the double quote as we mentioned before this is the way you can declare your variable and you can use that variable in your program so first thing let's say string variable declaration that is done then second point is we will concatenate the string string concatenation so in for that reason you need to declare first is the string let's say first name equal to ended up with semicolon 
let's say John string string first name same thing we can declare last name last name equal to Smith Smith so those thing last name and first name we need to write together so you need to concatenate those two variable so similar way let's say system dot out dot print ln let me copy from here here will be let's say my name is then first is the first name first name here you need to my name is you need to concatenate with that variable with the plus sign first name then again you need to concatenate another one then let's say we need a space between first name and last name if i r s to or oh, here is the spelling mistake little bit first name then again concatenation here is the last name now you see the variable is highlighted now if we run this program it will give you the message my name is first name john then space then last name so let's save it right click run as java application you see my name is john smith that is correctly printed so thereafter let's say we can declare another variable string let's say st software testing equal to string value software testing tutorial yes now we can declare the soiso let's say our variable is st dot if you after your variable if you place dot it will give you the available option then let's see what is that index of we are taking index of index of let's say testing testing so now save that program and run it right click run as java application you see indexing 9 that means you see java indexing start from 0 so here is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 exactly whatever index is it is giving the index so again we can take the length for length for of variable so we we got the index of this variable and also we need the length for those so copy this same thing paste it now st delete dot if you put length right delete the previous one so it will give you the length of this string length of this string so save it and right click run as java application 
25. If you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Total length of this string, it is printed 25. It is exactly correct. So now let's say we need for our program purpose. If you need this is software testing tutorial, we need all the writings in a uppercase or lowercase. So what is the same thing? Let's say we can copy from here. Paste it. ST dot to uppercase and also same thing in the lower you can make it all the thing is the lowercase too st dot to lowercase so now if you save it software testing tutorial will be printed with uppercase and lowercase too so right click run as java application you see software testing tutorial first printed it is the uppercase second was it is printed lowercase so that means we cover uh, index length uppercase lowercase concatenation and variable declaration so now we can do the special character a special character let's say we can declare string my channel so a string my channel equal to let me assign the value it is my YouTube channel so now save it I am putting YouTube within double quotation as soon as I'm putting YouTube within the double quotation a string is throwing an error if you the syntax error token YouTube invalid assignment operator that means double quotation has the uh, special meaning for the string whatever within the double quotation it is valid as a string but here is the double quotation twice that's why it is throwing an error so in order to avoid that if you do the backslash with the special character like this way it will ignore that double quotation and also it will print it as a YouTube within the double quotation. Now, SYSO control space. So, if you print out my channel and now save it, also right click run as Java application. You see, it is my YouTube channel. That means this special character quotation though has the meaning it is ignoring because with the backslash. So in this way, if any special character that will affect your coding, you can ignore by uh, putting backslash in front of them. This is the way you can bypass that thing, whatever the special meaning in the Java programming. So now is the last option is the substring. Let's say I am declaring another variable string my data equal to around 73,000 data I have. So let's say for the programming purpose you need to extract the data only 73,000. So that's 
how you can extract that data from the string my data so now let's say syso you can print out uh, like extracted string data is you can do plus concatenate my data dot substring you see substring we can use substring over here with the index number as java start with 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 first index is 7 comma then what about the last index 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 that means 13 so if we use this indexing substring that will within that whatever the data is it will be extracted so now let's say save it and right click run as java application you see it is extracted only 73000 within the whole listing sometimes if you have same thing this type of data in your programming but you need any specific from the uh, from that string then you need to extract using substring this is basically whatever today's tutorial is string declaration let me see the our agenda string declaration we covered string concatenation we covered string length covered upper and lower case covered index command special character uh, character in string that covered also substring covered that means whatever string and string declaration and string uses we cover all of that i believe those who are new in java programming this video will be helpful for themselves if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also if you have any question please make a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video